why mushrooms? I just, yeah, I had a call into them one day. I think I just stumbled upon this huge patch of chanterelles and I remember like calling up my dad and being like, I found these mushrooms and they were, they were just, there was hundreds of them and they were golden and it just, it was like sunshine. And I think ever since that moment, I enjoyed being out in the woods, being out in nature and it's very unpredictable. Like I never knew what I would find and the buzz of finding a new mushroom. And there's so many different mushrooms to find. And it, it just doesn't, it never gets boring. I think the most important thing about mushroom foraging is recognising the families of the mushrooms. So identifying the most poisonous mushrooms, so the Amanita family, for instance, um, which include the death cap, the panther cap, fly agaric, which is Amanita muscaria, um, and familiarising yourself with those kinds of mushrooms. And then go from there and be very cautious. Don't eat anything that you're unsure of. I recommend Roger Phillips mushrooms. That is one of the first books I ever got. And it, kind of puts all the families of mushrooms at the beginning of the book. Um, so I really do recommend that you get to know the trees in your environment. A lot of mushrooms are like mycorrhizal with different types of trees. So the chanterelles, for instance, they grow with beech. They also grow with birch. Also seps grow along with beech trees and spruce. So that it's really important to know the trees before you get to know mushroom foraging. So I recommend attending some foraging courses with some professional um, mycologists. I also recommend not identifying a mushroom from a picture and do your own research with the mushroom you have in front of you. I went to catering college to train to be a chef. Um, I got a few jobs working in a few different places and I remember you know, I used to love cookery programmes as a kid and seeing these mushrooms. Because to chefs, mushrooms are like, especially the set, you know, it's like, it's like gold to a chef. So to be able to have that knowledge and forage for these mushrooms myself, it's just amazing. When I first started out as a chef, I worked in this um, vegetarian restaurant called Milgi and um, the chef had this big batch of set powder and it was like blended up seps and he'd put it in all his cooking and it was so, it was delicious. The flavour on it was umami and I remember being really interested in it then. Um, and now myself, um, years later, I incorporate a lot of mushrooms and I experiment a lot as well. Um, so today I've made some lion's mane cake and I also made some cordyceps tea. I like to be quite adventurous and I like using medicinal mushrooms. I really love uh, using uh, jelly ears and making dumplings because obviously they are used a lot in Asian cuisine and that's one of my favourite things to make actually is dumplings. So obviously it's kind of all year round for me, mushroom hunting, um, quiet in the winter, um, but in the spring it's so exciting. I love to forage, I love to look and forage for morale mushrooms. I haven't been lucky enough to find wild morale mushrooms, but I have found wood chip uh, morale mushrooms. And that's such a, it's so exciting. I mean, you'll find me in wood chips all around the city and I found them quite a few times. And then we come into, um, you know, early summer, we have chicken of the woods, and then we move on into June, which is for me, chanterelles, July, August, September, and in mushroom season really kicks off for me. So obviously I carry books in my backpack, um, so obviously if I find a mushroom, I can kind of look at what I found and be sure of my identification. Um, I also carry my basket, uh, appropriate clothing, but as you can see, not today. So I recommend a, a mushroom knife with a brush so you can clean the mushrooms. I 
I really do recommend um, a website and a book, and I've actually got the book in my bag, um, Wild Food UK. So that's where I kind of got a lot of my early knowledge from. They also do YouTube videos, definitely for, for beginning foraging. And I mean, they're amazing, they're very knowledgeable and they have um, all the mushrooms on the internet and then the book itself, which I've got and I really do recommend. And then the YouTube page. So yeah, I like to forage sustainably. Um, I never take more than I need and I always leave more behind. I recently found a uh, tiered tooth fungus, which is on the red data list. Um, and the recommendations for them kinds of mushrooms to leave them alone and don't forage them at all. I think just the main thing is just never take more than you need. Um, I find sometimes people can over, over pluck mushrooms and they just take them all. It's like earlier on when we took those chanterelles, we left all the small ones behind, only took the big ones. I always uh, pluck my mushrooms um, and I don't think it makes any difference to mycelium if you cut or pluck. Yeah, so I think my favourite dish to cook with mushrooms is simply um, cooking butter and serve on toast. I think my, one of my favourite things when I do foraging is chanterelles on toast. I think it's just one of the pleasures of mushroom hunting. So my favourite way to preserve them is to dry them in a dehydrator, um, especially seps. I think I prefer seps after they've been dehydrated and then rehydrated and I like to put them into soups and stews. Um, another method is um, you could pickle a mushroom, so like you say chanterelles. And also chanterelles freeze really well as well, so I find if you blanch them first and then freeze them, they freeze really well. Um, also, chicken in the woods is a good mushroom to freeze as well. Cook it out first and then freeze it and it lasts in the freezer for three to four months. So I would love in the future to do some foraging workshops and also incorporate recipes that use the forage ingredients. Um, also just teach people about the basic uh, mushroom identifications. Yeah, so you can find my page, um, the Chanterelle Queen Wales. Um, I'm on Instagram, um, yeah. Thank you.